that's where our Park Ji Won is on standby, part of the Pan Mun Jung press pool, who is going to be giving us the latest detail coming out of the main press center at Kintex in Koyang, some 20 kilometers north of Seoul. Uh, Ji Won, uh, what do we know so far? Well, Samin, as you said, nearly 3,000 members of the press from 360 media companies and from more than 40 countries have registered here at the main press center to cover this historic event. As of now, more and more reporters and media staff are coming in to prepare for the summit that's going to start some two hours from now. Well, there's a sense of excitement and anxiousness in the air as this is the first summit meeting in 11 hours, only the third of its kind since the Korean War with two previously held in 2000 and 2007, respectively. And this will be the first time for a sitting North Korean leader to step onto South Korean territory in over six decades. And of course, the key issue of the press here, as well as politicians and watchers from all over the world, is what will be the outcome of these rare historic inner Korean summit talks. If the two leaders do agree on the major issues like the declaration of the end of Korean War and they agree to end the 1953 Armistice Treaty and replace it with a new peace treaty, then this will bring official peace to the Korean Peninsula, changing the dynamics of not only Northeast Asia, but also the international order. Well, that's all I have for now from the 2018 Inter-Korean Summit Press Center. Back to you.